Understand and use proportionality. Now that looks like a fairly complicated title with some long words, proportionality being the one that causes the most grief, but all that really means is what do we multiply by or what do we divide by. So if I'm looking at three examples, conversion rates are the first one. If I'm converting from pounds to dollars, a conversion rate of 1 to 150, then if I've got 6 pounds, what do I times by to get the number of dollars? Well, one pound is one dollar fifty, so I times by one dollar fifty or one point five to get my answer. Not too interested in the answer for this this topic. Just what am I times by? What am I dividing by? If I'm coming back from dollars, say I start with six dollars, what do I need to do to get to pounds? Well, I need to do the opposite of times by one point five, and the opposite of that is to divide by one point five. So if I know that one pound is one dollar fifty, to come back to get to the pounds, I need to divide by the one point five, and that will work out those answers. So the next example is ratio. If I've got a ratio of two to three, how do I figure out what I multiply and divide by to change from one to the other? Well, if this two is the red counters and this three is the blue counters, and I have sixty red counters, and I want to work out how many blue counters I've got. It's not readily obvious what I need to times by to change from red to blue. Some people will figure out it's 1.5, but with ratio, it's much easier to do the unitary method where you take the value down to 1 and then multiply back up to 3. So to take this ratio down to 1, I need to divide by 2. And then if I multiply by 3, that works out how many blue counters I've got. So 60 divided by 2 is 30, times by 3 is 90. And that's in the ratio 2 to 3. So every two red, there are three blue. If I'm coming back the other way, say I started with 60 blue counters and I wanted to work out how many red counters were, I need to divide the blue by three, I need to divide by three, and then I would times by two. Let's just write that the other way around. I don't know why I put that that way around. And then I would times by two. Now it doesn't matter which way around you do that, you could times by two, divide by three, or divide by three times by two. I usually prefer to divide first if it goes exactly, so 60 divided by 3 is 20, times by 2 is 40. And again, that's in the ratio of 2 to 3. And that's a very useful method from getting from one to the other. Now this is the one we really, really need to focus on, percentage increase and decrease. This is the most common type of proportionality question, if I want to increase by a certain percentage. And again, I'm actually using the same uh, multiplier here, so I'm increasing by 50%, which is the same as these two things here. But increasing by 50%, um, if I've got my original 100% and I increase by 50%, I now have 150%. And 150% is the same as times in by 150 over 100, or 1.5. So if I want to increase something by 50%, I need to times by 1.5. If I wanted to increase something by 10%, I would times by 1.1, because it would be 110%. So when I divide that by 100, I get 1.1. If I want to decrease by 50%, so I want to take 50% away, I'm actually just finding 50% then. So then I would divide that by 100, so I would times by 0.5, which is fairly obvious you want to find half. But if I wanted to decrease by 10%, then I would be finding 90%. And to find 90%, I need to times by 0.9. Let's have a look at some examples of this. So, here's some conversion rates. Let's give you a few seconds to pause the video and have a go at these questions. Okay, to convert from one to the other, I'm not really interested in the answer, I'm just interested in what do you do to get from one to the other. So if I wanted to convert from £10 into Euros, £1 is 1.1 Euro, so or 1.10 Euros, so I need to times by 1.1, or 1.10. To go back to pounds, I need to go back the other way, I need to divide by 1.1. Ratios of boys to girls is 3 to 5. If I've got 45 girls, how many boys are there? Well, I need to get, I need to figure out which was going, which one's which. So I've got 3 to 5 boys to girls, and I'm starting with 45 girls. To get back to the boys, I need to divide by 5 to take it down to 1, 
and times by 3. 45 divided by 5 is 9, times by 3 is 27. So there'd be 27 boys for 45 girls. If there are 45 boys, so this time we've got 45 on this side, and we want to find this one, then we need to divide by 3, which would be 15, and then times by 5, and 5 fifteens are 75. Percentage increase and decrease, and this is the key one here. This is the one we do the most. If you want to increase by 12%, what do you multiply by? Well, 12% is 100%. Well, increasing by 12% is 100% plus 12%, which is 112%. And to increase by 112%, you need to times by 1.12. You need to divide that by 100. That's the multiplier. And the more you practice this, you don't really need to write this down, you just need to go straight to the multiplier, 1.12. It's 12% increase, you've got the original 1 and the extra 1.12. If you want to decrease by 12%, it's slightly harder, you've got to take away the 12% from 100 to get 88%, and these are times by 0 0.88, because that's how you work out 88% or something, you, you times by 0 0.88, because you divide by that by 100, and then multiply. So there we go. Understand and use proportionality.